Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live for part two of Thursday, September 19th, 2013. Thanks to Emperor Cabs and the Music Garage we're honored to have with us today, Black Pistol Fire. Yep, yep. live with <laughs> black pistol fire you guys aren't kidding around i don't think are it's, these things supposed to stay on it, no i don't think so one of the bands before taped it to to his head i think we should do that for you guys the man's a genius <laughs> or you should wear a helmet like a sound helmet oh my yeah. oh my goodness thanks so much for being here for driving forever and for still going pretty much on time it's great thank you blake yeah absolutely hey while well, uh well uh, kevin's hooking up himself over yes. there yeah he's tangled give him a second i was wondering if we could talk about garages you guys have probably yes. played in a thousand do you have one that you 
remember fondly above the rest? Uh, definitely. There was one in, uh, in South Austin where I, I, I rented for a little while. It was the first place in Austin that, that I'd ever been. It was owned by this old hippie dude that did touch therapy. I don't know if you know what that Whoa, is. Oh, no. Explain it. I don't know it either. It makes no oh, sense okay. it, it sounds like poppycock. But, you, like, um, make people feel better by, like, pushing their pressure points or something, their you chakras? Would, you would think so, but I don't think it was that at all. Oh, okay. That, that would make <laughs> sense. His, his version didn't really make a lot of sense. But, no, it was, uh, it was there in South Austin. Um, and that's where a lot of the songs on the first album got kind of hashed out. Cool. Well. So that was uh, that was my favorite garage. And also, there's a bunch of weird stuff in there. Yeah, of, what's like super rad about it, or like what's special? Uh, about there's it? a lot of old, dirty mattresses, which Ooh. were fun. Um, we didn't touch them, you know, for fear of hepatitis and all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> hepatitis but, uh, C. Yeah. But um, now there's a bunch of cool old records and stuff that this, this old hippie dude had left, um, and some cool classic books. So cool. And uh, there was some recording stuff, wasn't there, Kevin? You remember. I choose not to remember that time in my life. Yeah, just it was a really bad time. Real low oh, points. Okay. But uh, but I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure there was hepatitis. I'm sure there was all kinds of uh, fun, yeah. interesting things. For what reason was it so bad? If you care to share. Uh, no, it wasn't that bad. Honestly, it was just a, at a, a, a height of our poverty. Oh okay. yeah, we were really right. Yeah, we, or the load of your poverty. No, I'm, I'm going to be positive about it. <laughs> okay. It was at the height. <laughs> we have not... never been more poor than <laughs> at that moment, and we were eating about you know three or four potato meals a day, that kind of okay. deal. Okay. But um, now we're only eating like two meals, two two potato. Meals, two potato yeah. meals, none with hey, cinnamon. Well, I'm Irish. I'm still going to eat that stuff. Oh yeah, you yeah, gotta. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, move into another track, dudes. Okay. Cool. Sure. All right. Yeah, this is uh, going to be a track off our new record coming up next year, early next year. It's called Hipster Shakes. <laughs> You didn't lose them that time, which is nice. I'm very self-conscious now about them. 
<laughs> about them falling off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Blake. I don't yeah. want to break anything. <laughs> yeah. Mine's out. Mine's out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's completely out. It's just gone. Can't, That's good. That's good. Can't hear anything. I don't need these things. <laughs> I can talk. I can talk loud enough that yeah, well, you I can, can hear, hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, cool. And I'll just keep the headphones in unless the, until, or er, what's the word? In case there we they go. tell me something. Precautionary. Cool. Yeah, precautionary. Yeah. Um, so you guys did a Little Richard's tribute slash cover record. What, I, what is it about uh, Little Richard that you love so much? Oh man! Or everything. I mean, what just, isn't it? Yeah, what isn't Richard? there? I mean, I'm just. It's, He's. Uh, yeah. I mean, when I was growing up, uh, that's pretty much what I listened to. Is like him, Chuck Berry, Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh, I grew up on all that old rock and roll. Okay, but, cool. I mean, when you look back at him, man, I, he's like one of the godfathers of rock and roll. So. I have one uh, word: flamboyancy. Yeah, yeah. right. Right. You can't beat that. Yeah, great showman, and what a voice on that guy! But um, seriously, tiny mustache yeah. <laughs> gave him that good, yeah. that special look. He's he's uh, he's just a man, and uh, well, we wanted to pay a little bit of tribute to uh, yeah. him because he's got so many amazing songs. So uh, we just kind of did what we could with because cool. we couldn't sit down and do you know songs just like Little Richard. So we had yeah. to you know kind of beef it yeah, up. Yeah, but a I mean, bit. I think I like the way that you guys took yeah. it. Oh, I mean, thanks. I think yeah, it, it sounds awesome thanks, regardless. Man. So yeah, <laughs> sweet, yeah. good, high energy, yeah, high energy, yeah, absolutely. I mean, clearly that transcends or brings into you guys, you know, comes out of you when you play and all that. We yeah, need a got towel. It, you got it, Blake. I should have brought a towel for yeah. it to, <laughs> to throw over to you guys. That would be very handy right now. Yeah, yeah tea, we have tea and water, it's but no towel. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot, yeah. With lights it's awesome. Seinfeld, pretty hot. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go into another track, dudes. That would have been a great segue for a Little Richard song, but we're not going to do one. Oh, oh that would have been great. <laughs> yeah. Thanks again for being here, by the way. All right, cool. There's another song that'll be off our, uh, our new record in January. It's called Hush. Fire, Kevin and Eric, chilling in the house with us today. Austin, Texas slash Toronto, Canada. You got it. Represent in here. Awesome. Uh, when I was listening to your record uh, this morning and yesterday in preparation, <laughs> I, uh, it, it made me want to grill meat. 
I, ca I can't describe that. Grilled meat. <laughs> grill meat. And I was wondering if you had a uh, favorite meat, or if you guys even uh, eat meat. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely oh, yeah. eat meat. <laughs> We, oh, yeah. We, we, oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. We all yeah. meat there, eh? Yeah, we corn, are, uh, corn our Canadian bacon, corn our back bacon. Is that what Some we call it? Some of those back bacons on the bun there, eh? <laughs> you want to go to uh, get a 2-4 and... <laughs> He's got it. Yeah. No, beautiful. we're at, we're actually uh, a huge fan of the barbecue down in, the, in where we're yeah. living down in Texas. Some of yeah. that... Uh, Smoked pulled pork, all that jazz. I like, yeah, I like some brisket, some good brisket. Yeah, and it's funny, you know, you know, when the writing process comes, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, wow, like, what uh, kind of meat, meat. do I want to channel? <laughs> well, a rump roast. For this <laughs> this uh, riff is a little, yeah. is a little briskety, I think. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'm definitely picturing um, uh, side ribs, like uh, Ooh, side yeah. ribs on the grill when I'm playing. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. That's what I think of. That's why you're wearing those gloves, just in case. Uh, just in case things get too hot? Yeah, you got to grab them up. Um, <laughs> along that line, I was wondering, um, yes. riffage, maybe maybe specifically for Kevin, um, do you get like riffs in your head and then you use them as like a motif or a framework for the song? Or like, do you, do they just kind of come out of you as you're jamming or... Yeah. yeah um, both. Both. Sometimes, uh, you know, I'll just be jamming at home and then uh, get... Uh, just kind of play a riff to death until people start banging on the walls. Yeah. Shut up, don't play that. No <laughs> Please don't play that. Uh, and then sometimes we're just jamming, so, you know, a riff will come and then I'll go home and uh, play that to death yeah. until, uh, you know, it starts to come together. Yeah. Cool. All right. Man. The key is to annoy people, right, Kevin? Yeah. yeah that's what we're trying to do with our <laughs> That's music. really the music of the Shut idea. Out. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sure you have had a lot of like old, angry people yell at you in your whole life. Yeah, we did. We actually it. played uh, a senior citizen's home. Uh, last year. Whoa. And uh, did they dig it? There's one guy that really liked okay. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's no longer with us, but he really <laughs> loved it. <laughs> he really liked it. <laughs> yeah. So. He has since passed, but at that point, <laughs> RIP. Bless his soul. Yeah. <laughs> Bless his soul, Pete. <laughs> Great. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, move into another track. Are we doing, are we doing Run Rabbit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll I, should, I should have set up this whole time. My bad. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Get a set up time. Do some jamming. It's quick. It's really fast. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs>
baby, don't you cry. Got no baby, let her ride. Back bad baby, don't you cry. Got no baby, let her ride. Now I'm thinking of my side. Oh, these can I feel so bleeding? it up making this room real hot for me too i'm already kind of pitting a little over here i think it's a hot sweaty and day yeah hot and stinky. you you know you commented on your smell but i haven't noticed i think you guys smell Thanks, fine like, we actually did shower before we took that long car ride, oh so. okay awesome the problem with car rides though are that like car stink is it's really hard stinking. to You're remove all that, like, yeah i <laughs> it just like pours out it's like that weird it's like contained and then when you release it, it's like way worse. That's why antiperspirant deodorant's so bad. Because yeah. it like breaks through the wall. Cakes, and then it, yeah. yeah, cakes, yeah, and you're terrible. Ugh. So I guess today's uh, brought to you by food, because I'm gonna ask another <laughs> food-related question. It's like Sesame Street. I love um, food. Yeah, That's me fine. too. I guess it's a drink-related question. Before you uh, perform, do you have a drink that, I mean, I got a green tea for you that, that was by request, a green tea. Is that your uh, pre-show, your pre-performance beverage? Uh, mine is, I like to do a little uh, little Jameson whiskey, Irish whiskey. Nice. That's my little go-to. Yeah. yeah. I like to have one shot, of, yeah, one shot of whiskey and then a beer on stage. That's pretty much it. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just to like get you a little warm yeah, on whiskey, the inside. Whiskey angers up the blood a bit. Not that I want to be angry. No, no. But like and from time to time, you know, I like a good cosmopolitan. Who doesn't? Yeah. From the next, yeah. you know. A fancy Cosmo. You can swirl. Yeah, on stage. Pina colada, you know, at the time. Ooh, right. pina colada. It's, 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 it's acceptable. You know? Yeah, it's an okay yeah. thing. Mike's Hard sorry, Lemonade. Sorry, Blake, that was we the wrong answer. Mike's <laughs> Hard. <laughs> right. No, no, you can answer whatever you want. <laughs> Mike's Hard Lemonade, that probably. Oh, we love Mike's. We yeah. love the Mike's. We love Mike's. They also make a Mike's Harder Lemonade. Oh, have no, you had that? Yeah, it's eight and a half percent, so it's dangerous it and sounds stupid. It yeah. makes you sick. It's oh, bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, but maybe you should have it in the future. Let us never drink this thing that you speak of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like the dumbed down four loco. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much yeah. Oh my goodness! All right, fun stuff. Yes. Let's uh, <laughs> let's lead into your last track. Thanks again, guys, for being here. Thank All you, right. Blake. Absolutely. Black Pistol Fire. How do you treat life? All right, this is a track called Where You Been Before off our very first record. <laughs>
chasing down on files below I'm holding on before it's gone You never see me again, see me again But you best believe Pistol fire. <laughs> yes! I love uh, that one point I thought for sure it, it was kind of like chicken almost. Like, how fast are we going to keep this going? There was a look that's pretty much it, you yeah. had. Like, he's like, I don't know. Like, oh, yeah, I can do this faster. And he's like, oh, whatever you go. <laughs> that's beautiful. Thanks again, guys, so much. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Blake. Thank, Thank you, guys. everyone at IO Tree. Absolutely. Um, you're playing the Double Door tonight. It's at 8 p.m. And then you're on tour um, all over the U.S. with Scott Byram. Is that how you pronounce Byram. his name? Byram. Scott, Scott Byram. And uh, Big Beat 59 is out now. And early 2014, three or four months. Hush and how? Yep. Cool. Yes, yeah. sir. Cool. So check those out um, online and whatnot. Just Google them. Um, great. Uh, thanks to Emperor to the music garage. Thanks to the camera people, lighting crew, um, everyone in the studio, amazing sound engineers, viewers. Uh, send a shout via social media if you enjoyed what you heard today or you just want to connect with us or the band. And uh, check out audiotree.tv for more great sessions. Goodbye. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, Blake. <laughs> yes.